Hello, Christopher Nova Smith. Um, it, we've been dealing with this for three years now, going you know back and forth about all these bills that's happening. Um, I just wanted to come and let you know uh, some of the stats that has been presented to the media from the city council doesn't match up. For the last few years, UH has been doing a study on it. And uh, they come back with, uh, like for chronic homeless, in just this island alone, there's 1,368, and not the 100 that the mayor suggests. Uh, they have another stat of over 13,000 people are homeless in the state. 9,500 of them is on this island. But we only provide just over 1,000 beds. And like I just said to Ikaki Anderson at a meeting, I think about a year, about a year ago, that on any given night there's no more than maybe 50 to possibly 80 beds available, you know, that are unused. So if we only have 50 beds, but we have 9,000 people in our streets, it's obvious where they're going to be in the street. With all the businesses not allowing anybody to use the bathroom, it's obvious where they're going to be doing their business at. I don't understand why we keep cr criminalizing people and doing this when we're not going after the cause. We're attacking the effect. Like someone said, economic consequences. Economic consequences is devised off of legislation like this. We worry about businesses. They're in business. If they don't like what's happening around their business, then get out of business and go somewhere else. You know, if... You know, someone said, well, like the days before, I believe, you know, another person did years ago of how we enjoyed it. Have we not forgotten what happened in Hawaii? Because years ago, I believe we were criminalizing, just using the word, any Hawaiian words, using any culture, using anything around here. Now, if we want to go back to that kind of aggression, well, then I guess we're on that stuff. Because right now, we're aggressively going after a population of 13,000 people. It doesn't make any sense to me. The, you know, another big thing that a lot of people have to say is Micronesians. I'm sick and tired of hearing people talk about the Micronesians. That's 8% of the homeless population. Just 8%. It's the smallest portion. The biggest portion comes from Caucasians and Hawaiians, which are both approximately 30% each. But the Micronesians, they didn't have a choice. The flag that everybody just stood there and pledged allegiance to decided to bomb an island, poison their island, strip them away from that island, put them on another island with no economy, no housing, just for just a few years later to tear their homes down to find out that the radiation was in that area. So they threw one gentleman that I spoke to over at the raid, not sweep, because sweeping means we're sweeping humans. You raided them with the state. I spoke to him, and he was sent to New Jersey without even knowing the language. Came back here so he could be with his people. But now that he's here, he's being criminalized, having his stuff stolen from him. He's trying to su survive with his family, and no one's helping him because we have a thousand beds for 13,000 people. Stop criminalizing. Come up with real solutions. They have a study that 70% of the homeless people has successfully went to permanent housing on their own within three years from going to transitional housing. But only 20% of the people do it from shelters. So what does that tell you? Find housing. Because the chances are much better when they have something stable that they can go with. Instead of sitting at a shelter that has all sorts of forms of abuse just to be thrown back out on the street because they either couldn't pay their bill or they used up all their time having to work for that shelter instead of finding a real job. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Christopher. Members, any questions for the testifier? No questions? Thank you, sir.